Oh, and we're back! Um, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let me just full screen this. Yes! Uh huh! Ugh! I believe this is where we were. Yes! I heard that took you at the. Uh, as. <laughs> aspirated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. Maybe me. I approach her. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, there we go. I approached her in the case to need a hand. What did I press? Looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books of boxes across the shelf. M manga? Oh, none of the next. Manga, right. Ah, uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things you admit you're really into until you figure out how the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard it. I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Maybe, maybe it's. I don't, I don't believe it's. Mm -mm. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga at missed a stack of various books in the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I put it out in the stack. There it is! Natsuki s snatches out of my hand. It. <laughs> she turns to the box manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing the box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know how that feels. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can just go do it through the glass on the door. She points to the glass room door. Ah. Uh. Okay. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't even say anything. There's a tone in your voice. This is my regular voice. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Dobby. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, as he pulls out the first volume of the Parfait Girls on the box, I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves a book right in my hands. Thank you. Ah, let's start at the cover. It features four girls in a colorful attire, striking anime feminine poses. It's exactly Moe. Don't just stand there. You, uh. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. See, leave it more Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. They can. <laughs> we can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. D d don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I don't exactly expect to be sitting too close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particular bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer. Reclaiming the admirable space while she hops, I won't notice. Hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder much more easier to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Um, you don't go back to flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes I've already finished the series. That's just, you, you, you buy it and then you read it once and then you don't go through. I keep watching it. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, no, not really. Uh, <laughs> I am, but nothing really happens yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. Tickle slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for writing to be entertaining though to make up for the lack of a plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot or... Or birds? Well, obviously. Which one? Plot of boobs. You think I would enjoy something without a plot? I mean, <laughs> well, I guess you know what you're saying. 
Yes, I do. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like this really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. And even the ice cream shop. But uh, that just helps to get to know the characters. I have my glasses on, need to find them. Well, not now. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There's only so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, that just gives me a little shove. Set still. I just meant that I haven't seen you in your full power. <laughs> Good save. Dragon Ball Z reference. Ah, this chapter seems to like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but there's a lot of baking in this manga. Well, Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. <laughs> Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Don't worry about it. Since you enjoy baking too, right? You got it. That's just a coincidence. That was quick. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got into this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because of its my Psh, Haven't you watched Yu-Gi-Oh, man? Everyone got into Yu-Gi-Oh cards when Yu-Gi-Oh was out. Psh, don't feel bad. I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. Ah, oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains like it's interesting in baking. I was just a mumble of words. Still, all the hobbies to pick up from manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Uh, well, we read <laughs> a few minutes. I finished a couple chapters where you look at me like that, girl. Mm, are you sure this isn't boring you? For you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read, well... I'm fine with that, if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing some something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Alright, you don't. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> um, that's not <laughs> what I wouldn't really know. Why, <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Oh, you got you got no friends? Jeez. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, "Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet?" Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ah. Uh. I know, <laughs> those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much less find friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a little- Why the sneeze is coming back? Ah, curses, the sneeze! It's gone now. Pineapple. I already- <laughs> I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I have gravity towards other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, it's it's that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean I feel like I can't even keep up with my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he finds this. At least it's safe where in the club. It's just a book! <laughs> Boy let me beat your ass. Why? Because you read the filth again. What? This is filth! Have you seen this? Oh, <laughs> let's get back to it. Kept Monica. Well, it's kept in. Sept. Sept. Oh, it's like a word. Oh, like except. Ah. Abbreviation. Sept Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Psh, a bitch. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, <laughs> it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, I'm here. 
reading it. Well, it's sort of like that solves any of my problems. Well, maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah, let me keep reading. I flipped the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. <laughs> that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since you're so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when you... you... I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a sparkle contrast as usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express the word, the feeling when you get connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki <sighs> is when a rare experience. The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready <laughs> with today's poems? Mm. Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure <laughs> we have enough time. Though you look <laughs> pretty cozy over there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah! <gasps> Natsuki suddenly noticed how close we've gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. 12 is a lot. Like, damn. Alright! Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Ah, uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Uh, is this really alright? I say that honestly because I really don't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start on the next one. Why? And it gets bent, I'll kill you. Then keep it! By tomorrow? I only get part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I <laughs> try to get through this. But I suppose that's necessary. Sacrifice in exchange for seeing that TV enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then. I stand up. I'll return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah, I did. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to something so embarrassing. Well, I just clicked a bunch of uh, words. Uh, you could really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready. Why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastic pulls out their poems. Sayori's is on the wrinkled sheet of loose loaf leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Oh, stop it. No, not Suki and Yuri. Re Relax. Gently, relax, relucently comply. What are these words? I need my glasses. Reaching into their bags, I do the same myself. Uh, who should I show my poem to first? <laughs> Um, let's quickly, let's quickly save, um, slot 2, yes, did we save, let's just override, yes, um, I'll go to, but here is the one who wanted it, but,
No, I'm just right. I'm Yuri. I like the girl. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. Yes. Can I trust her opinion to be fair? She's crazy, but yeah. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. I menopause is more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. So sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. I don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah? <laughs> Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. <laughs> I guess that might be it. After reading this through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! <laughs> Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yuri buries her face in her hands. I could help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Mm. It's just that there's specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I can learn to pick on up them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize with the new writers is that they are trying to make their style very deliberate. In other, I just... Okay. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the topic matter and then they're fit together. The end result is that both the styles and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought is of a uh, demeanor totally changes. Her, st her st stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably most the challenging part. It might take you some time, but almost uh, practice and learning, for example, trying new things. <coughs> Excuse me for that one. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable <gasps> feedback. <laughs> Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm, not, I'm sure Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily. The rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, she isn't this supposed to uh, literal club. Uh, click. Ghost under the light. The tendril. The ten. I can't. I can't see. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last mm, street luminous evening, evening, evening streetlight to I don't know to have withstood the test of time. The the last yet to be replaced by the shaking blue green hue of the future. I bathe. Calms, breathing, air of the present, but living in the past, the light flickers. I flicken back. Uh, I am sorry, I have terrible hand. Yes, you do! What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time. Um, I couldn't read the word. Uh, well, I just didn't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Pretty bad. Uh, that's a relief. 
Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? Usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. Well, I'll be honest. Since it's your first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about the ghost at all, Dobby! Really? <laughs> I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you didn't only glance over it after all. But remember, the poets often uh, express their own thoughts, feelings and experience in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolical compared to a ghost. Literally in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more something putting in the way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy to think that. Just remember that it won't be as long before you pick up those things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. After all, there's no one hearing us do speak. Like, come on, guys. I'm counting on you. Thank goodness. Who should I show my poem to next? <laughs> um. I'm gonna go for... Sayori. She kind of likes me. Hm. This is a good poem. Dummy! <laughs> Are you sure it's your first time? Yeah, it is. Of course. It's not that good. I'm kind of the guy who would be writing poems in his spare time. <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why I'm impressed. They impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. No. Of course I would. Or is that wouldn't try it at all? I'm really happy just you wrote one. Yes. It just reminds me of how you part of the club now. Not to mention that the fact that I'm standing in front of the classroom. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but it doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Darby! Keep down. You're not <laughs> selfish at all, you know? Trying new things, like a lot of other people. <sighs> that sometimes is the only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori seems a full picture of my motives here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her at all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? Okay. That'll be the way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub my sleepy from my eyes. <laughs> Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away the rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but now, not mad, I want breakfast. <laughs> Sorry, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this because you're hungry? No, it's, it's just a little bit. <laughs> Can I answer just a little bit? <laughs> yes or no question. How I got that do her last night? Well, at least it makes me feel a little bit about myself. Don't be mean. I'm not. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't even <laughs> to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yes. Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Now I'm kind of hungry. Even though you <laughs> were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. Hmm. I could really crank it. Yeah, you get cranky. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is way too much fun. I know, right? Monica's the best. 
Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Obviously, Monica. Hi, Dabby! Having a good po <laughs> day so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright? I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring up things. Much better off just going in the flow until the more settled. Anyway, must you share your poem with me? Uh, that's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Dabby! We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's a sort of the barrier you'll learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Dabby! Really? It's a lot of. She doesn't ever expect it! Haha! That's worth sneezing! Oh, jeez. No, no. <coughs> Excuse me. I got it! Yeah. I'm sorry, it kind of makes me think of something that's a good right. And she's a good writer too. So take Baba as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. Bye, Chaz, and read something and shall subside. Maybe a long time ago? He's a famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. Shit. IGN's 1 out of 10. Money back, guaranteed. I know those words. His poems can be funny, <laughs> endearing, and even sad. And sometimes they are only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids. But if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's an expert, but promise we would fail to her poems. That might be easy, right? But they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I guess C would be kind of a twist. I'll sure do end up trying different things a lot. I could take a while before I feel comfortable doing things. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find things a style suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles, but always to keep the find that suits you the most. I don't force m yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you to have worried about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. It sounds pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel the way I know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hold. <laughs> <laughs> All in the wall. <laughs> it couldn't have been me. See, the direction that sparkle pro pro protrudes. Uh, a noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. It wasn't... I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a firm left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image <laughs> it's just a little hole it wasn't too bright it was too deep strengthened forever into everything a hole of infinite choices i realized now it wasn't looking in i was looking out and he on the other side was looking in Oh, so what do you think? Creepy. Hmm, it's very freeform. Ah, you call it. Sorry, I don't really know the person who ask for the feedback. Ah, uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's kind of style of going pretty popular nowadays. That's it. A lot of people have been putting emphasis emphasis on the timing between words and lines, and then performed out loud. It can be really powerful. It was the inspiration behind this one. Uh, well, it's sure to guess to put it out, but I guess you could say it had some kind of empathy. Empathy thing. Empathy. E? 
EP since I <laughs> It's been an influential my poems a bit. Yeah, sometimes something like that. Kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out strangely. Maybe after someone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip for the day of the day. Sometimes when you writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on specific points. If you try hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Don't just force yourself just force yourself to to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Uh, another way to think about it is to keep your pen in the same spot for as long as so you'll get into the dark puddle of ink. Just move your hand and flow. That's my advice for the day. For today. Thanks for listening. Natsuke. Okay, let's start with the things. What? I thought I gave it to you the Ah shit! Sayori and Natsuki are not the same! Damn it! Don't be like that. First of all, um, Natsuki re replies my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other. You see, you guys look the same! You, you. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you comfortably enough to share yours. Like Monica said. You, 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 you. Well, I used to be comfortable sharing my poems of if yours are really bad. What? You're just supposed to show me something dumb poem and make me go. Ha! Well, it's not the great I let you show the real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. What did I do? So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Oh, Eric. Oh, she thought I was gonna give us something that's full of shit. Okay, let's see. Resorts get. Sorry. F is that an F or U? You, 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 you. You're so. You're just. <laughs> you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. <laughs> you don't have to go announcing it to the whole world like you're self important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. You say that modestly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can figure out it didn't win or lose that she liked my poem. In any case, you'll need to show me yours, right? You're fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can speak, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you that you weren't gonna like it. Oh, I like it! <laughs> what? Just be honest. I am. Why aren't you so confident that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisti uh, sophisticated. I really need my glasses. Where's my. Houston, where's my glasses? <laughs> So people don't even take my handwriting seriously. I wouldn't, but I will. But isn't your point of the poem being expressed yourself? <sighs> your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when easy to read and it hits you hard. Like, it hits me hard. In, in. Seeing everyone around do things can be really... So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. And other nice about simple writing that it puts more weight wordplay. Like I said, up to the rhythm at the end, but then made me fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the younger ones here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided on humor when the last comment. I really uh, pff, care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud when she takes that away from her. Phew! That was a lot of reading. Guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. It was a little more stressful. My bad. 
And then I anticipated. It's as everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is the literal club after all. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the poem, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Otsuki. They gin gingerly excited sheets of what? Gingerly. 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 G I N G E R L Y. Gingerly. Exchange. Gingerly. G G Ginger. They're sharing. As the reader, the tandem, I watched each of the expression change. Matsuki eyebrows furried in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> What's with this language? Uh, didn't. Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Matsuki demonstrably returns to the permanent desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. <laughs> Yours is cute. Cute! Did you compliment Miss the symbols and the thing? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could I be cute? I, I, I know that. I just learned the language, I guess. I'm hungry! I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have to try too hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come out that nice at all. Hmm, well, I have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. <sighs> uh, now something actually. I, if you. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Before, before I continue reading, I'm just gonna say. If you're up to this point with me, or, or just skim through it, or just watch the first five minutes, I don't really care. This. I just want to get to the serial killing part. Like this is this is agonizing. This is, but this is this is what I set out to do. I like these. This uh, dating sims. I like this dating sims. It's it's not bad. I've been uh, I've played I've played like nine. This has been the most calming one in the beginning. Which people? I'm just gonna continue. Anyway, which people did by the way? So I already liked it. And Derby did too! So, based on that, I'll gladly give up some suggestion of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change anytime soon unless, of course, I've come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. And Derby liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, he didn't... I didn't realize you were so... Wh wh wait, 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 what happened to the music? If it's in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That's not... I. It, it, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous because Dabi appreciates my advice more than appreciate yours. Huh? And now, how did you know to appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do over cutely. You... 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 Uh-huh. Is everyone okay? Well... You know what? I wasn't the one who chose boobs! Magnificently grew a size big as soon as Darby started ch Oh damn! Natsuki! <laughs> um Natsuki, that's a little <laughs> This doesn't involve you. I I don't really figure out guys, suddenly both girls turns towards me if they notice I was standing there. Darby! She she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. <laughs> If she could get over herself and learn, <laughs> appreciate that several writing is more effective than this would have been in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluting, convoluted for no reason? 
the meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to a Dobby! Wait, what? There's no reason to have so many deep and expressive words in our language. There's the only way to convey complex feelings the meaning of the most efficiency. Avoiding them is the most un un unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. What am I said that right, Dobby? Uh, well? How did you get dragged into this in the first place? How did you get dragged into this? I know it's I, but I say you because it's me. I don't think about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> Alright, let me just save here for... Yeah, let's just resave. Yes, overwrite. Alright, before we make our decision, this has been episode 2 of Doki Doki High School Club. It's good. It's good. It's it, it fancies my interest. The reading it, it does. It Well, thanks for watching. If you did, I appreciate it. If you didn't and just watched like a minute of it and hated it, I appreciate that as well. Thank you. Every view counts. See you in the next one. Bye.